Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2, Episode 11. And yeah, this is the second last episode of this season before we get the final, 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 final season next year, I think. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I will say, let's get to the episode. Okay. Amen. <clears throat> so how will this whole thing play out and end? He shot him three times? That's overkill. <laughs> Dead. 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 <clears throat> dead, 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 dead. <laughs> it's interesting how much they suck currently, right? They can't get shit done right now. Nani? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's not his plan. Well, <laughs> how fast can the flying boat fly? So, what are they going to do? <clears throat> okay. On the coast of Mali? Wait, is this on the island? Or why the coast of Mali? Oh, so they want to take a ship and want to go over there or what? Okay, they want to take the ship and ship over there, right, to Mali, basically. Is what I'm getting from this. And the ship is fast enough. That's interesting. So basically what I'm getting from this, they want to go to the coast of Mali to 
O D ah, or whatever it was called, something O. And want to get the ship there, basically, and then there they can get it ready, basically. But going there with a boat, like across the sea to Male, is fast enough when a flying boat Okay. I mean we have we have like no sense of like how long it takes to take a ship and move over from the island to Male, right? So <clears throat> But I mean based on what we kinda know, it shouldn't be too far, right? Because we know that people that fucked up in Male, aliens, they took them on the boat and shipped them over to Paradise Island to turn them into Titans and throw them on the island, right? So it can't be too far away, right? Maybe just a few hours away. <clears throat> but can a boat be fast enough to catch up with Titans? Because they pretty much have to arrive before the rumbling, right? So, yeah. <laughs> hmm. If it's just a few hours, then I would imagine Aaron must already be there, right? Because Aaron is moving for like a long time and I guess Titans are faster than horses, they said. So that seems quite fast, I would say. And it's been like a whole day, almost a whole day already. I mean, they spent the night on the island here and Aaron was walking the whole time during the night. And suddenly the spears are not strong enough to hurt him. He blocked us with his arm. But he has like the armor on his neck too. And on his neck he could be hurt. Maybe it's not as hard on the neck maybe. I don't know. But it seems like the spears were stronger before against Reiner. Compared to now. Nom nom nom. Is suddenly the neck is safe too? Hmm. It's very convenient that the armor titan can't be hurt by the spears right now, so he's not affected by it anymore. Even the Okay, that was her, okay. Okay. She blocked other spears a moment ago, right? And now suddenly it hurts her? To add a bit more drama? <laughs> or like... Risks? I think those were also, like in the face was also very effective against him. <clears throat> okay. Somewhat effective. I mean, there must be a bit, there must be a little bit risk and a little bit danger from the spears, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I would say just shoot the explosives on the ship, right? On the boat. And that m maybe sends them off all and it, it explodes. That would be my idea, right? The explosives are still on the boat. Or will he transform? Oh, I guess he will transform, right? <clears throat> Out of nowhere, he knows how to control it. Okay, another arm is gone. Okay. 
Okay. I can't wait for him to transform and he's doing fine. Back up. So how are they gonna stop the train? Yeah, who did that? Okay, head is gone. But I mean, we know she will survive, right? Did he got shot or did he took someone as like a shield? Couldn't really tell. How about not standing around? <laughs> Let's just wait. And I aim. <clears throat> so I guess there's someone that is on their side that helped them that attacked the train, I guess. Okay, he transformed now. Maybe because he wanted to protect people and before he wasn't... Dang, that's a design. He wasn't determined enough before. That's a design. Jesus, he has a beak. Damn, Flock is moving. Someone, something will happen, obviously. Just who? Yep. Push. Did Gabi shot him? Or was it the one that maybe attacked the train? Mm-hmm. Mikasa goes on a rampage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, 
Yeah, and obviously Flock, first transformation, doesn't, never did it before, works perfectly fine. <laughs> of course. Or maybe he has no control. Yep, I guess that's the case. Nom nom nom. But how convenient that he goes after the enemies only until no enemies are left and then he first attacks his comrades, right? Perfect. Would have, would have been a real shit show if he would have attacked like Mikasa or someone before he would have attacked like the enemies, right? Like the other aliens, the Jaegers. That would have been interesting if he would have attacked like Mikasa or someone else. But he completely focused on the Jaegers. Conveniently. So who attacked the train? It seems like no one knows. Who's that? Oh, him. Did he attack the train? I guess so. I guess he wants to stand behind. So are they sacrificing each other? Or well, themselves? Not each other. <clears throat> I mean, he was against the Jaegers the whole time, basically.
after credit scene. Uh, I think that's. I think so, maybe. Ah. And now, what's the plan? Oh. I mean, maybe her foster father maybe escapes and runs away, and then there's maybe enough time to... Stop it, right? Before he gets killed, maybe? Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I <laughs> I'm just not really hyped for the episodes anymore, really, because I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just way more on Aaron's side because Aaron was basically the main character the whole time, right? And we followed his story and so a lot of from his perspective. And I really can't see where he's coming from, right? Why he wants to do what he's doing right and because what them what the people from Malane did is bad right they because they were greedy they came to the island to paradise island and basically started all this shit and if it would be based on <clears throat> the rest of the world right the and titans would be useless or aliens would be useless for that because the Malayans used them as weapons, basically, as tools for war. And when they become useless, then the whole world would be basically like, yeah, okay, let's kill the aliens because they are just a threat, right? We hate them, we don't like them, they are a threat. So we just kill them if they become useless, basically. And so it makes sense where Aaron is coming from and why he wants to do this. And I mean, yeah, <clears throat> obviously now at the end, Suddenly, everyone grows a conscience and is like, I don't want to fight anymore. And yeah, I was wrong. Oh, what I did was not right. And yeah, you are not demons. You are just humans like everyone else. Suddenly at the end, right, everyone grows a conscience. And it's just so predictable, right? And even like McGuth, like, like, Two episodes ago, when they had like their camp at the uh, in uh, at the night, he was still like, "You are demons. You are not worth anything. It's all your fault. I hate you." Blah blah blah. Completely against them. Then one night later, suddenly he has a conscience and it's like, oh, "I don't want to fight anymore. I want to have. I don't want to recruit. Ch I feel bad that I recruited children as warriors and that I started everything here." Oh, I would just want them to have a, have a happy life, blah, blah, blah. It, it Suddenly he goes like 180 degree, right? And is suddenly like, has a conscience and is completely changed, basically. And also Gabi. I mean, Gabi, 
had like a bit more development before the, before she came to the conclusion like okay you guys are not demons right that was fine but Megath I feel like came just out of nowhere suddenly 180 degree turn which I feel like is ugh. I I feel like it, Megath would have been better if he stood to his beliefs that he had his whole life basically and just now at the end would have been like okay I still hate you and but I work with you because I want to save the rest of the world <clears throat> and that at the end now he would have like basically died for his beliefs and just to save the rest of the world right that he just sacrificed himself bas basically for the greater good I think that it would have been better instead of like him suddenly growing a conscious and being like oh I want them to be happy I feel bad that I recruited them and that I started everything here basically and I I didn't like that really because like I said out of nowhere at the end everyone grows a conscious suddenly even Annie that was basically the whole time emotionless I mean we found out that she had emotions before she left for Paradise Island right um, or that she got some emotions when her foster father said that he wanted to come back safe right she had she cried right but when we saw her in the flashbacks from the island, she beat the living shit out of Rhyna and was always in a bad mood and seemed like to don't care for anything really. And yeah, so there was nothing of emotions anywhere, right? <clears throat> when we saw her in the flashbacks on Paradise Island and from like season one. And suddenly she comes out of the crystal now and... Suddenly she's like, oh yeah, my father is maybe dead and my foster father is maybe dead. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to kill anyone anymore. Suddenly, right? Uh, it's... I don't like these changes suddenly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> because it, it, it feeds... Everything feeds basically into suddenly. Everyone suddenly wants to live in harmony, basically. Um... Now knowing that otherwise, suddenly, Eren would otherwise kill everyone if they don't succeed, right? So now they all want to accept each other and live in harmony. Um, at least the group we have here right now of the main characters. We don't know. For Definitely for the people that is that, that are like in Melane and stuff, they definitely don't feel the same way right now, probably. Maybe they get to the point at some point, right? At the end, maybe. That's the whole point that maybe... Aaron, like I said, maybe I can see that maybe Aaron isn't succeeding, and then they basically come together and beat him, and then everyone is happy and they can accept each other, and that's a big conclusion, right? That that the like two thousand years of hate basically against the aliens and all that stuff is over basically, and it all it took was basically Aaron to threaten the whole world to be stomped. <laughs> Um, or maybe Aaron will succeed. Um, so yeah, but yeah, like I said, I I don't know, man. I I feel like yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not really hyped anymore because it seems also predictable. Like in the episode again, some thunder spears the fight they fight the whole time. Thunder spears not effective at all. Nothing happens, and they beat the shit out of everyone. And then suddenly, when it needs to be a bit more dramatic. And a bit more risky, right? There must be a bit more at stake. Then suddenly the Thunder Spears are effective again, right? <laughs> it's like, how convenient, right? When it needs to be effective, they are effective. When they don't need to be effective, they are not effective anymore. <laughs> um, And that Falco, like I said, that Falco transformed for the first time. And Peek said, the first transformation is never successful, right? And... It was successful, basically, and while he didn't have control, he effectively, conveniently only attacked the Jaegerists and not, no one else. Only when all the Jaegerists were dead or fleeing, then he suddenly started to attack Peak. Because she was right in front of him and there was no one else, right? How convenient. <laughs> like I said, I think it would have been more interesting if he would have attacked, like, Mikasa or someone else. And it would have been a bit more risky, right? Uh, but yeah, this way, a bit, 
again like convenient for the plot and uh, predictable um i don't know <clears throat> i mean before everything like like season four part one awesome liked it um season four part two up to the point when the rumbling started awesome liked it and now that the rumbling started and we see like not Aaron anymore but like the other characters and how they want to stop Aaron, it all becomes so convenient and predictable right it's like yeah I don't know. Mm. And I mean, now they go to Male. But I mean, Aaron is already wandering for a long time, like for hours, for probably like, I mean, he started at like maybe late afternoon or early evening. Uh, and now it's the next day and it's like morning. Or maybe, I don't know, like, I guess, like, not quite early morning, but, like, morning, I guess, like, right? Maybe, like, 10-ish a.m. or something like that. Or maybe a bit later, I would assume. And so, Aaron must be quite far if he can move faster than horse. Um, And like I said, <clears throat> from what we know, it seems like that Marley is not that far away. Just maybe a few hours, basically, I would guess. Um, otherwise, it would be interesting how far they would chip people, the aliens, to Paris Island, right? If it's far away. Um, so, yeah, I would say it's a few hours away, I would guess, on boat, on ship. And so, yeah. By that time, I would imagine that Aaron must be, like, probably already in Mali if he moved, like, for, what, maybe, like, 10, 12? 14 hours already constantly on his way to Male and is faster than a horse yeah but I mean we don't know for sure like geographically how far it is away right um but yeah I think uh Hanji said like 4 days I think would be enough for Aaron to Destroy the whole continent. And one day pretty much has passed. Or no, not one day, but like over half a day, I would Im imagine, has already passed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say that seems pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Um. So, yeah. But yeah, that's like my opinion, I guess. And I guess many people don't think the same way i think um i mean you could say this is like typical anime right that it that suddenly everything is so convenient and everything right because it has to happen for the plot so that the plot can happen but i don't i don't know i feel like it just feels too convenient and everything right i think it's handled in a bad way suddenly um, because, like I said, everything before I think was very good and I liked it. But, I, like I said, maybe that's just because I'm more on Aaron's side, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know what Aaron's doing is bad, basically. But, like I said, I can get his side why he wants to do it. And it's not like that I like Aaron, but no one else. I like Mikasa and the other character I like Jean and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like I'm more on Aaron's side right now. I don't know. For some reason, I just want him to succeed and see what happens, right? Um, because it wouldn't be the happy end, basically, and we get so many times the happy end. So if this would have, like, a darker end, I think that would be interesting. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I think, I think, I feel like, it's more likely that we will get the happy end where Aaron is not succeeding, I would imagine. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I guess. But yeah, we have like one more episode and then we have to wait for the final, 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 final season, right? I think next year, somewhere, and see how it ends. Hopefully, unless they say, hey, there is another final, 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 final season. <laughs> But I think they said that the next season is definitely the last season. 
Um, so yeah, we will see. But yeah, that's my thoughts. Very long. And yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.